spreading sign students. Look, I've already made a couple of videos uh, about calculating density. Firstly, calculating the density for regular shaped objects, calculating density for irregular shaped objects. You can check those out on my channel. So given that, and in order to keep things brief on this video, I'm just gonna whiz through the key concepts, which I've covered in more depth in those two prior clips. So density is simply the amount of matter that fits in a finite space. And when we talk about density, there are two variables that come into play. Firstly, mass, the amount of matter in an object, which we measure via scales and our units of measurement. In this clip, I'm going to be referring to grams and we'll do some heavier stuff in terms of kilograms. Our second variable is volume, how much space is taken up by an object. So our units of measurement, if we're looking at smaller items will be centimeters cubed, for bigger items, meters cubed. For regular shaped objects, we use a formula to calculate our volume. If it's rectangular, we go with length times width by height. If there's a circular aspect to it, that, that, that brings into play pi. And if it's a, an irregular shaped object, then we can use the Archimedes principle, which again, I outlined in one of those two clips that I referred to at the start of this vid. So that brings us to the formula for calculating density, which is simply M over V. So that brings me to the point of this video, and that is to use the density pyramid, which is structured as you see on the screen, to help students apply variations of the density formula when they're asked to either calculate mass or volume or indeed density by simply using the fingernail to cover up the one they're calculating. So let's go through the first of three variations of the density period with a practical example. So here we've got a kilogram worth of beans. We've got a bean bag with a volume of 800 centimetres cubed. And we want to calculate the density of the bean bag to see if it is appropriate based on the suggested density for bean bags. So now I'm going to show you how to use the density pyramid. So step one, we need to determine which of these three variables are we trying to calculate. We know mass, we know volume, we're trying to calculate density. So therefore we cover that up with our finger on the pyramid. And that leaves us with mass over volume, M over V. So we know our mass is a thousand grams. We divide that by our volume of 800. We go to our calculator to work that out. I'm going to go to two decimal places and we have a density of 0 0.33 grams, whoops, grams per centimeter cubed. Okay, let's go to our second variation of the density pyramid. This time we're trying to work out the mass of some soil that we're going to buy for a garden bed. We've done a bit of Googling and we've worked out that the density of topsoil is 950 kgs per meter cubed. We've measured up our length, width and our height of our garden bed and we've determined that our volume is 10 meters cubed. Okay, so let's now solve this using the density pyramid. We know density, we know volume, mass this time is our mystery figure. That's the one we cover up with the finger and it's because density and volume are on the same row, we are going to multiply these. So our formula to calculate mass is V times V. Our density is 950. Our volume is 10. So therefore our answer is 9,500 kgs. And that's it. So we have one final variation of the density pyramid. 
This time we're going to work out volume using a similar problem to the one we had before. So our density of our soil is still around 950 kgs per metre. But due to budget limitations, we can only afford 40 bags of soil from Bunnings. One litre equals roughly 1.5 kgs for your soil. So we need to do a bit of multiplication here, 35 and a half times 40, that equals 1500 kgs. I've just multiplied these two figures. So again, step one, we determine which of these three variables are we trying to calculate. We know density, we know mass, we are trying to work out volume. So we use the finger to cover that up and we can see that this has created a fraction. Our numerator is mass, our denominator is density, we're trying to calculate volume. So on our calculator, we divide our 1500 kgs worth of soil, we divide that by their density, 950, and that gives us, if we go to two decimal places, 1.58. Volume is always in um, three dimensions, so our answer is meters cubed. Key point, make sure you memorize your pyramid.